Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to completely uninstall the Windows subsystem for Linux or WSL from your Windows 10 or 11 computer, whether you want to free up some space, troubleshoot issues, or simply don't need it anymore. I, I'll guide you through the process step by step. Let's get started. Open PowerShell or the command prompt. Type the following command and press enter. This will get you the list of the installed WSL instances on your machine. If the instance is running, you can run this command to stop it. You can now remove the install distributions using the unregister command. Uh, I forgot to add dashes to the command. As you can see, the WSL instance is now removed. To completely remove all WSL data, you might also want to delete leftover files. Open File Explorer and navigate to Packages folder uh, in API Data. The app data is a hidden folder, so enable hidden folders if you cannot see it. Look for any folders that start with canonical group limited or related to the Linux distribution name. Delete these folders to remove leftover data. Next, disable Windows subsystem for Linux. Open the Start menu and search for Turn Windows Features On or Off. Scroll down and uncheck the box next to Windows subsystem for Linux. Click OK and restart your computer when prompted. You may also want to uninstall the virtual machine components, open apps and features. Search for Ubuntu, click uninstall if you find it. And that's it. You've successfully uninstalled the Windows subsystem for Linux from your Windows 10 or 11 system. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.